This is for Virgo. January 2019 general reading full Celtic cross Virgo for the masses, for the general population of Virgo. The energy is coming in. Let me see what the beginning energy is. I do shuffle these prior and concentrate on your sign. But what do we got here? Page of Swords, possibly a message coming in. Uh, kind of like a fast message. Something with a lot of power to it. Um, it's, the page is oftentimes messengers. It also could be a younger type person. They could be taking on an air sign energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or just someone, like I said, acting like this. You know, bringing forth a, a powerful message. That's the beginning energy coming in. Page of Pentacles, still messages. So, powerful message, possibly concerning money, finances. Let's see, move that up a little bit so you can see it. It's crossing it. Uh, you don't trust it. It's a ten of swords. You feel like they're going to stab you in the back and screw you over. Goal. Ace of Rods, a lot of... Uh, Powerful type energy here. Ace of Rods is like the it's the Ace of Wands. You're you're headed for a new beginning, a passionate beginning. That's your goal. Foundation, you're dealing with people from the past. In the past, you were dealing with a happily ever after situation or you were aiming for that. Near future, you got a lot of options coming your way, but they're kind of confusing and maybe not so good options. Just be careful what you choose. They are coming. They are there. It's a Seven of Cups. They are coming your way. Now I'm going to put four more out. Hopefully I get all this where you can see it. Let me look at it. And I'm going to clarify these right quick and then go on to this. These cards. These are like outside energies and you know, distant future. But I want to clarify these first. Now, I'm using this other card. This is the uh, Universal Wade. And it's a smaller deck. And again, it allows me to put all these out here to where hopefully you can see them all. But we got the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords as its subject at hand. Why are you there? For Virgo. I don't want to put that out yet. It was also, again, the Ace of Wands, just so you know, that fell out earlier. Same as that. Why you Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, why are you there for Virgo? Yeah, someone's going to offer you. So you got a lot of offers coming, a lot of messages coming. But the page is someone coming along. And the, this page right here is a Cups is emotional. So you're getting a, a powerful message that's a little bit emotional that may involve money. But at the same time, you may not trust this as, as the current environment. That's someone offering you something. Can I get another card? Oops, trying to come out. I'm going to let that one come out. This may be you. Queen of Pentacles. It is an earth element. When I read for the masses, I don't give just one earth sign because I'm reading for so many. And the energies aren't always uh, directly to the one person. But the Queen of Pentacles can be an earth element. It could be you, Virgo, or another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They are in the upright. They got a good head on their shoulders. When they make decisions, they're sound. They like security in their life, and they actually oftentimes help others. People go to them for advice because they do things well. They they're they're solid. So the Queen of Cups is I mean Queen of Pentacles is in the upright. And she's dealing with these messages and remembering portrayals. And she's thinking, what should I do with these messages or these offers, messages more likely. Or you can be dealing also with the pages. A lot of times they're younger people, you know, younger signs. But we shall see. Ace of Rods, also known as the Ace of Wands. I'm going to try to understand these cards. Why are you the goal? And there's nothing wrong with that. Starting new passionate beginnings. Why are you there for Virgo? Something about manipulation, possibly. That's a magician in reverse. That's the Y card. 
So I always use different cards, as you know, because I'm literally asking a new question here. They're not just clarifiers. I'm literally asking a new question. But this is the why. As you know, I ask why are you there. Ace of Rods, going for a new uh, beginning, new something that is passionate. Wands is very passionate. Rods are passionate. Why? Because before, possibly there was manipulative behavior in your life, and you're going to start something new. Maybe someone was manipulating you, or maybe you, even a few of you used manipulation. But can I get another card for the Ace of Rods and Magician in reverse? Yeah, you're thinking about it. The Nine of Rods, l l Wands, looking, thinking. Now I got to do this. I got to go on with my life, and I'm, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do it. That's what the Nine of Rods is. The why. So it does make sense. The Ace of Rods, starting a new beginning, and now you got to think about how you're going to do it. Now as a foundation. You got the Six of Cups. That's someone from the past, usually from childhood, but it could be a nostalgia over lovers. Sometimes maybe someone tried to come back and talk to you over the holidays, but it could be so many things. But it has something to do with the past, maybe um, usually a person. Six of Cups, why are you there, is a foundation for Virgo for January 2019. This person offered no give and take, or you're not going to offer no give and take with this person. You may not want to balance your life out with them, or they're not... Or maybe if someone's coming back at coming back into your life as the foundation needing some help that they weren't getting before. I mean, it's all kind of things. Can I get another card for the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles? A couple of sixes here. Yeah, you know, something's feeling hopeless with this person in the past with the Star card in reverse. And it could be, like I said, some of you feel like you can't even work with this person and there's no hope. Others will have people coming back that need help because it, something's hopeless in their life. Many things. Remember, the queen is in the upright and does help people. Takes control. I like the queen of pentacles. Love the queen of pentacles. Now, in the past, we had the ten of cups. The ten of cups is in the upright. Looks like the ten of cups anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you there, Ten of Cups, in the past? You got the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> the Ten of Cups is in the past. This is someone who is wanting their happily ever after. They were striving for it. It was their goal. It was their life. This is what they imagined their life was going to be. But for some reason, the why, the clarifier, the why, when I ask a new question, it's like they didn't get what they were wishing for in this happily ever after. Can I get another card for the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups? It's in reverse. The Ten of Cups is in the upright for Virgo. <clears throat> Queen of Cups could have to do with the Queen of Cups. This could be a watery, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, a watery type energy. As usual, I do not give it to one specific water sign because I am reading for the masses. But it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in reverse. It also could be just someone that's really emotional right now, not feeling themselves, not feeling very secure in their life. And and, they, and sometimes it can make someone emotional. So you were dealing with something you thought maybe you want to happily ever after with. If you didn't get your wish, you could have to do with the Queen of Cups, male or female. It does not matter. Not with this reading. Now, Seven of Cups in the upright. Why are you there for Virgo? Coming up, these are like a lot of options you can choose from. Sometimes offers, but sometimes confusing ones. You're not sure about them. Seven of Cups, why are you there in the near future for Virgo? Hmm. Trying to come out of, come out of feeling unchained. You may be looking for different options, a little confused, because you don't want to be stuck or chained to a negative situation. So you're going to be looking at these options, different you know things in your life, with the thought of, I do not want to be stuck. I do not want to be just stuck with anything. So the Seven of Cups, the Devil in Reverse, why are you there? Yeah, messages are kind of weird. 
So that's the Eight of Wands in reverse. You may be seeing these options or offers or different situations you can choose for your life, but you're not getting clear messages with it at all. And you're like, I don't know if I want to be stuck with these options, whatever they are. You can leave it in the comments because it's going to be different for a lot of people dealing with a lot of Virgos here. Now, this is uh, the advice card or the possible future outcome. What I say that is that the universe gives you advice as what surrounds the outcome. And you can either take it or leave it. It's just what's surrounding it. So let's find out what it is. King of Cups. Now if it's the advice, it could be saying you get your emotions together. But I see you as the Queen of Pentacles. I don't see your emotions amok. You may be dealing with somebody that's Cups energy. Remember we had the Queen of Cups in the past here. And maybe the universe is saying deal with this person or help this person become find their upright, you know, become upright again and find their stability. Find it, you know, get their emotions in check. King of Cups in the upright, why are you there for Virgo? King of Wands, you're dealing with more than one person here. Trying to get the emotions upright, because the King of Wands. The why they were emotionally distraught, passionately, their messages were kind of off, they didn't come across very well. You may be dealing with a couple people or just one person that's kind of back and forth. Sometimes, what I call a little bipolar, but not necessarily anybody can get like this. I hate to say that. King of Cups, King of Wands, why are you there as the possible future outcome? Or the advice. It could be the outcome where they're surrounding your outcome. The hermit. Someone wants to come out of hermit mode. Someone wants to come out of hermit mode. It all, if it's advice from the universe, it's telling you to come out of hermit mode. If you're keeping to yourself and deal with people in your life that you may have not felt comfortable with before. Or it could be that these people are coming out of hermit mode and they will be approaching you. Because remember, we have the Six of Cups there of someone in the past. Was coming towards you. So we may want to argue and fight. You know, this has to do with relatives, you know, friends, families, partnerships, you know. Could be a partner as a life partner. Anything. But it's the five of swords. Someone wants to fight. Someone wants to pick a fight with Virgo. Why are you there? Why are you coming towards Virgo? Yeah, someone's not happy. It just says the sun card. Someone's not happy wanting to pick a fight. Who is it? Is it the King of Wands? Is it the Queen of Cups? Who is it? Maybe they'll tell us. Maybe they won't. Someone's coming towards you going to argue because they're not happy with the sun in reverse. They think you took advantage of them. They're going to say, I found this out about you. Or I think you did this. For some of you, this will be this way. Others, there may be a fight that erupts as an outside environment because you're not happy because you found out someone tried to take advantage of you. It can go either way, you know? Hopes and fears. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, uh, could be that you're trying to take on this energy. Usually it's an air energy. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. She's in the upright. Her words can be cutting, but there's wisdom to her words. Let me see if you hope or fear for her. Queen of Swords, why are you there? She's in the upright, remember that. Messages, again. Maybe you're hoping for messages, passionate messages that are, you know, that cut, that cut to the chase. They don't mince words. Maybe you're hoping for this, or maybe you're fearing it. It would be different. You know, you can put it in the comments. Are you hoping or are you fearing these messages? Can I get another uh, card for the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands? Got a lot of messages coming in. Ace of Wands again. Ace of Wands here. Ace of Rods as Wands. You're hoping for, I think, a new beginning. A new passionate beginning in life. And maybe you're going to try to take on this Queen of Swords energy. And your mess, you may be sending messages out. Maybe you're hoping to get a good start in life. 
I don't think this is a fear thing, but it may be, you know, that you're fear you're not going to get these things. But you can, like I said, leave it in the comments. Final outcome. The sun. The sun shines on Virgo. Happiness abounds. The sun. Why are you there for Virgo? That's pretty cool. I like the sun card. You get happiness in the end. And balance with the temperance. Can I get one more card for the sun card and the temperance? Maybe not be exactly getting what all you wish, but you are getting happiness and balance. You may not think it's what you're wishing for, or maybe it's actually a wish that you weren't expecting. But that's uh, it's happiness, it's wishes, it's fulfillment, it's, it's, it's a great card. It's like the happily ever after card. It's not what you're, you know, let's face it, in January, not everybody's going to get their happily ever after. Life takes much more longer than a month. So I still see you striving for it. You're getting some happiness and balance in January. But you're not going to actually gain that happily ever after in January. You're going to still be working on it. But you're happy whatever is occurring. You may be doing a couple of things with the Two of Pentacles as the ending energy. Taking on kind of a lot. It's like someone's trying to juggle a couple of things and they're trying to keep it afloat and they're keeping it going. So far you're, you're going to be doing that in January at the end. You'll be juggling around, keeping busy. You're going to be happy and content with what you're getting. It's not your happily ever after. That may come later. But at least you get some sunshine in your life. Relief. Balance. Control. And this is your reading, Virgo. It looks good to me. Just dealing with a lot of messages, people coming in. You got, like I said options that you may not like or you may not want to take in the very very near future like the next week or so someone may argue with you that's the only negative i see here someone feels taken advantage of whether you feel taken advantage of or they feel this way someone outside is feeling a little grumpy okay they're just feeling out of sorts and they're going to let you know about it and you got these people surrounding you possibly coming out of hermit mode. And then, then things become balanced. Maybe I'm thinking you're going to straighten out this, you know, tug of war you're having with somebody and gain balance. And, and it's going to make you happy. And you're going to continue on being very busy. Okay? So Virgo, that is your reading. And I'm going to let this go. And I will talk to you later. Bye.